dear father i am the one with a cluttered intellect please pardon this foolish question what is the difference between insight and thought there is not insight also arise as a thought please do clarify this confusion thank you it's not a foolish question my dear it's a very good one in fact uh, many times earlier i used to i used to say that what do we mean by contemplation versus what is the idea of contemplation for most of the world now there's a great uh, sculptor called rodan 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 how do you it feels so obvious when you read maybe this is the first time i'm taking the name so i don't know how to pronounce <laughs> rodan who made this sculpture called the thinker you see the sculpture thinker he is caught deep in contemplation what is he doing he is thinking so this contemplation is not father <laughs> pause <laughs> this contemplation is not the what we mean by contemplation i don't want you to take a concept and then think about it what i mean by contemplation is to look for yourself what is there is using your inner insight what do i mean by inner insight you will see that just like there are these senses which give you these sensory perceptions this perceptual knowledge there are also this inner seeing which brings things like memory imagination thoughts pain pleasure sensations is it various there's a full universe of inner objects seemingly inner objects actually no difference between inner and outer is it so this insight when you turn this insight see and look so what witnesses this so we divest it from these objects either outer or inner and say okay what witnesses that who am i that's why bhagwan said in the inquiry when the thought comes instead of worrying about the content of the thought ask yourself who witnesses this thought now our worldly vocabulary is not meant for these kind of contemplation so we have to borrow it from how it is usually used and give it our own twist you see so when we say contemplation we are looking at this just stay with your own inner seeing rather than what picture the mind is painting out of that so the picture the mind is painting could be both as a thought as well as a visual many times when we talk about the unlimited awareness the mind is saying okay unlimited awareness i'll give you that here it is this big black space of nothingness you see and it will fool us like that and every time we start to refer to ourselves we are thinking that i am some big black space or something like that. the question remains who witnesses that who witnesses even this space then is that black is that white is it transparent or opaque does any quality apply to that this seeing this exploration is empty of conceptual content it is your pure perceiving till you come to the limits of perception itself and then you find that there is an awareness which is aware even of perception independent of any concept independent of any inference this recognition okay let me put it simpler we can have a lot of concepts of the eiffel tower for example okay the eiffel tower is like this it was built in this after this world war this happened you can have a lot of concepts of it but you have this when you have the perception of it say yes i saw the eiffel tower now this is the invitation can you see yourself is it but 
the trick is that's why one of the clues is that you will not see it like you see other objects you will find yourself but you will not perceive it in that way objectively as our well, master says the only non phenomenal experience that you will have and just because it is non phenomenal the mind will come and try to deny it but actually the the recognition of it is undeniable you are aware and the you that is aware is not different or separate from this awareness itself and this you will speak from your own insight this is this what i mean i can tell you i can tell you that you are awareness so you can have it as an inference okay that okay i am awareness so someone says who are you i am awareness but it's just conceptual then when you start to see i ask you are you aware now you say yes what saw what a thing was seen objectively yet the answer is yes it is very subtle and yet it is very simple it's pristine it if you can meet me here then it's so simple because all i'm saying is if i say do you see spectacles you look for the spectacles you find something in the shape of a spectacle you have the phenomenal perception of that and you say yes i see spectacles but if i ask you are you aware now even if attention goes to some objects you are not saying i am computer you are saying i am aware of the computer what is that aware how is that perceived see if if you say i am sitting on a couch there is a knowledge of both sitting and couch see so don't let the mind trick you that you are saying yes to i am aware only because you saw some content okay let me go very slowly if you are sitting on a couch you know both what sitting is and the couch is it is not just because there is a couch therefore there must be sitting so when you say i am aware of existence you see then you must be aware of both what aware is and existence is but just because awareness does not have a quality it does not have an attribute it does not have shape or size it can feel like but i didn't discover this i did not recognize this but you are it is your most primal most natural recognition because nobody taught you to be aware you might have learned how to sit or stand but awareness always has been and that's what makes it so seemingly ungraspable if you feel like but that can't be it i've always just been this is it that like i was sharing a story the other day with about swami vivekananda so every time swami vivekananda would close his eyes he would see some light between his eyebrows and he never shared with anyone why because he felt what's the big deal i felt like everybody would have it this like that you have always been the self and the discovery seems difficult now because when you recognize it you see oh wow this is always been here where was i searching it's almost embarrassing <laughs> i used to say at one point uh, half joking here was i used to say that an awakening experience is almost like a face palm moment you know what is a face palm moment is <laughs> what so if you get comfortable with it not being something special and yet at the same time very pristine It's very simple. Without expectation, 
Are you aware? What is the color of this awareness? What is aware of your sight? Of any sensory functioning? Of even this inner perception? What is aware of that? You are undeniably, isn't it? You are aware of this already, but it will not conform to any idea of what should happen now <coughs> as you discover this. The idea that something should happen can also be kept aside. It is not a happening. It is what you have always been. And yet in the play, the recognition of what you have always been can seem like a happening. 